Pacemakers turned off too. <laughs> Good. <laughs> My dad had always told me that you have to have a backup plan in everything that you do. My name is Ron Lentz. I am managing partner for Logisyn, Logisyn being logistics synergies combined, so Logisyn. And uh, I'm based here in beautiful Chicago. There has become this huge global interdependence on co other countries. One of the biggest problems that we have today is because we have the Ebola virus uh, a few years ago, um, we have today the coronavirus uh, uh, out there. There are supply chain disruptions and our customers are so affected by it because they're in the middle of all of this. They're the middleman that everybody has gone to for um, you know, the supply chain and understanding the supply chain and making sure that all of these disparate components come together at the right time. Today, what we are working with is since our clients are the ones that will be affected by supply chain disruptions, how do they protect themselves? How do they offer services and help? most important thing for me is to have fun, take care of my family, and to try and help people. I, I, I really believe in the business model that we've created at Logison is that we get to help people prepare for their future. Ansarada through um, Pathways allows us, Logison, to focus in on our business. Our business is not to manage data, it's not to get data in. It's not to control the data, it's to understand that we need that data and to make sure it's in the right place at the right time. If you look at a, a problem of a virus, there are businesses that are gonna thrive during that time. So how do they thrive? So part of our Logisyn program is to help them understand what can you do different that you can help your customers be best prepared. So it's not just necessarily helping them, it's helping them help their customers. Pathways allows us to do that, and it allows us to focus in on the buyers and help our buyers understand the business better. I'm Ron Lentz, and I'm a Pathfinder. <laughs>